Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix wobbly bars. So, first, what you want is some Allen keys. I like this uh, Isaac's multi-tool. It's got loads of different sizes of Allen keys and different tools look. I recommend getting one because it's very handy if you're just out on your scooter. And it, you can, it can fit like pretty much any scooter bolt. So yeah, a, a tip I'd use when I'm fixing, like when I'm using Allen keys or like tightening stuff is lefty loosey righty tighter. So yeah, so you wanna, oh, <laughs> not a good start. Right, I need to put this one back in. This one don't even want to come under. No, this one ain't Do you want me to try? Yeah, let me try. Yeah. yeah. Another tip, if you're undoing your pump and it's hard to tighten, what I do, is I put a little like, bit like this so you can push down and then so you can get more like power into it oh so now we know it's pretty much done so do you want me yeah, to do the no, rest though i'll do it all right so if it's hard to get it off riley will show you you'll like press down won't you yeah and like push or lift it up and kick down Ready? yeah like that if you can't do it, try to get like a parent or someone a bit, like uh, someone yeah, stronger or something. Undo that one a bit more. Alright. Uh, yeah, where is it? So, the multi tools are good for like, you can like, it's got a screwdriver, it's got Allen keys, it sometimes have some like wrenches on them. This one's pretty small. What I do, I like keep it like that so you can like push down more. Do you want me to try and get it off here? Yeah. It's just not. If not it's like to come off. this. Right, so if your bars are wobbling forwards and backwards when you ride. Like that. No. Do you want me to try? Yeah. It might be stuck. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let, let me try so you don't accidentally break it. Alright. Yeah, I'll go over here. So what you do is you just lift it up, just kick down or put like let it go. Oh, it's a bit hard this one so it's coming there we are that's what i was gonna do so it's like that's what the bars should look like that's called a clamp and then these are the bars obviously and it just goes over there and then we'll just leave yeah, them on the yeah. floor so yeah and then do you want to do the rest yeah what? so there's a Yo, look, I've my deck up. There's a bolt. It doesn't matter if there's a tiny bit of rust. So yeah, there's a bolt on there, you can see. Out. Might be a smaller bolt, you know, depends on the scooter. What I do, right, I loosen it and then tighten it so you can see. And then you want the wheel to spin halfway. Is that tightening? I'll try. Is that tightening? No. Just tightening? Yeah. There, there, there. Leave it there. All right, wait. Let go, let go. Just let go. Wait. Yeah. Let me show them. So what you do is like lift it up and just do this. 
and if it spins halfway it's pretty good and then you can just drop it and it shouldn't move i'll tighten it a tiny we'll just tighten it a tiny bit more that so yeah rather than tighten it just a tiny bit more and the more it's tighter the harder it is to spin around right now look that's loosening i'll keep doing that it's right now you also need to hold the wheel. There. There. Like that. Yeah. And then. Do a little drop test. Wait. This sound is his bearings, by the way. So the bearings are in the wheels. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, right, like, make sure to line up the bar. I know. So what I do. No, no, no. Wait, push this clamp down a bit. Wait. Do you want me to push it down? No, it's fine. Right. And if and maybe line it up with the slip. So you just this is H I C com no I H C compression. So yeah. Do you want me to hold them like right, the wheel? Right, that's perfect. Right there. Yeah. Need to hold it from there. The clamp's not on, but I know. Sort that in a minute. And tighten it a tiny bit and just double check. So, tightening it and then so it doesn't move. Well, just. Oh, so that's, that's tight. I know, that's something. What you do? What I'll do, Riley. Right, let's see. Let's tighten see top one a bit. Yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. There. Let's there. do it there. And now what you do? Oh, yeah. Kick it. Let me see. Let me show the camera. That's perfect. So. Right. So. It's pretty straight. And then there's a clamp line with the split in the bar. And then, yeah. So. Pretty much the wheel won't move now. And make sure to tighten it quite tight because you don't want to do it loose. So if you just jump in a box, your box might just fly off. Imagine that. And then, yeah. And this is also to dial your scooter as well. And that's what the main problem. And then it's usually your wheels and brake. Or your bearings. That's so, This is my bearings. It's got a bit more dialed. So, recommend getting more to tell you can use a bike one. Yeah, so it's got three different sizes. So the biggest are on the like, These are the main sizes for like bikes and scooters and that. And a bit of like small sizes on the other side. And some screwdrivers. So I hope you enjoy. This is what you have to do when your bars are wobbling forward and backward a tiny bit. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.